The Obsessed Music Packaging Dude is back, 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 back again. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jorge and this is a craft drawing training. Today I'm back in the music packaging world, this time with cassette tapes. I know that cassettes are somewhat dated and they are not as popular as CDs or DVDs, vinyl, Blu-rays. However, they have had a revival lately. And you know me, I love to have custom copies of my favorite music in physical form. I'll show you how to design, print, and put together your very own cassette in a sleep case like this included printed labels. They're really easy and fun to make, and they look really good in your collection as a novelty item. Or you can go back memory lane and make mixtapes for your loved ones. All right, enough talking, let's get started. Start by going into the description of this video and click on the link that says templates. There, it will lead you to my public OneDrive in the folder called Music Packaging. It was previously named CD Music Packaging, but I decided to rename it since I'll be venturing into other formats of music later on. There should be a folder called Templates. Once you're there, click on the folder labeled Cassettes. When you're there, download the file named Slipcase Cassette and open it using Photoshop. When it opens, it should look something like this. This one is very easy to design. The first rectangle is a tab that will hold the case together. The next one is the front cover. This one is one of the spines, and this one is the back cover. You can put the track list here if you want, or anything that you want to put. And finally, this one is the other spine. One tip I want to give you is that you can use the line to mark the divisions to help you mark the folds once you've printed it. You can use a similar color to the one you're using, but making the lines extremely thin so that at the end it won't be noticeable. Just a guide to mark the folds. Once you have your Signed finish, save them as a high resolution JPEG. To do the label, it's really simple. Just go back into the description of this video and click on the link once again. There, it will leave you to my OneDrive folder called Music Packaging. Click on the folder called Templates. Once you're there, click on the folder Label Cassettes. Download the file named Cassette Tape Label and open it using Photoshop. Here, you can design your labels however you want. I recommend you to keep the layer 1 on top of what you're designing so that you know where things are being placed. If you're using a solid color on the label, just select the Paint Bucket tool to color it wherever color you want. If you're going to use texture background, place a texture on top of layer 1 and arrange it however you like. Crop it to size, move it around, etc, etc. Then press command and move your crosser on top of layer 1. You'll notice it will turn like this. The label will generate a selection like so. Select the layer with your texture, then select the marquee tool. Move the cursor on top of the layer with the texture, left click it and select layer via copy. A layer with just the figure will generate. Delete the one that we don't need and continue to in the label as you wish. You can put any elements in your label as you wish, but the thing I mostly see in all cassettes is the title of the album, the name of the artist, and side A or side B for each of the cassettes, but I have also seen ones that they include the track listing for each side. Once you finish, save the file as a high resolution PNG. On my public folder, click on the folder called Paper Size and download the A4 size and open it using Photoshop. Copy and paste your design and it should place itself in the middle. You might see that you can fit another design in your paper if you want to. If you don't want to arrange them this way, you can use Microsoft Word. Open it and then add the image. Double click it and click on wrap text and then click on in front of text. Now, to resize it correctly, double click the image and resize the height to 10.3 centimeters and for the width, 16.8 centimeters. You can print another case in the same page if you want to. And print your page on cardstock. If you don't have a cardstock, you can print it in regular computer paper and then glue the paper onto cardstock, like I have shown you how to do in my Digipack tutorial. To arrange the labels, import the pictures, double click it, click on wrap text, and then click in front of text. Now to make it the correct size, double click the image and resize it to 4.1 cm height and 8.9 cm width. And you should repeat this with the other label and print them in regular printer paper. Once they're printed, it should look something like this. Start by covering the design with some contact paper. This is optional, but it makes it last longer. Continue by cutting the inserts with an X-Acto knife and a ruler. I like using a clear acrylic ruler to help me see where I'm placing it. Now, to mark the folds, I use the guys I placed before printing and using the ruler and marking tool, I mark the folds and then, with my fingers, I fold them. Once the folds are marked, I use super glue to glue the flap to the cover from the inside like this. You can also use double-sided tape. And just like that, we're done with the case. 
For the labels, all that there's left to do is to cut the straight edges with an X-Acto knife and a ruler. Then, using a tiny pair of scissors, I cut the edges. For the inside, I make like sort of excess on the edges and then using the tiny scissors to cut the insides. You can also use your X-Acto knife. To glue them in place, I'm using the spray adhesive, but once again, you can use a glue stick. You place it onto the cassette on the correct side. Make sure to clean the cassette while you place the label with some rubbing alcohol. And repeat that on the other side, and we're done! And that is it for this video guys, I hope you like it, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social medias at Crafter Training, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!